Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, I'm JTP, and um, you can't really see because the camera cuts it off, but I'm actually dressed up quite smart right now. Basically, I woke up quite late today, I woke up around about just before midday, and my mum walked in and went, Hey, do you want to be a plus one for an anniversary, like, party? Someone's silver and gold anniversary, they had, a, like, a, a joint anniversary, so I have no idea who those people were. <laughs> uh, it was quite nice to go and meet some new people, but yeah. I love it when you do that. You wake up in the morning and then someone just comes and gives you an opportunity and you just go and take it. You know, I love um, waking up and going, wow, I didn't think I was going to be doing this today. Uh, I like the spontaneousness of that kind of stuff. Is spontaneousness a word? Probably, yeah, sure, why not? But anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to mainly say thank you to you guys uh, for the past week. Because the past week, I was away on holiday and I was completely detached from YouTube or any internet at all. So, um, I absolutely grinded it out to, um, get videos ready for you guys while I was away. And it's been really nice because it's been a while since I actually stuck to the schedule that I meant to have of one video a day at 8pm. Uh, every now and then I slack, well recently especially I've been slacking a lot. And it was nice to actually get back into that YouTube grind and give some really quality content out to you guys for last week. So... Hopefully you guys didn't notice I was away. There were some internet uh, issues I'm aware of, but uh, that's just my internet. That's never going to be fixed, I don't think. <laughs> but there weren't many issues and every video went up perfectly and most of the videos did really well. And that's why I want to thank you guys because last week was the best week for the channel in so long. And um, it just goes to show that, you know, when you put loads of effort into the videos, they generally do a lot better. And I did. I was up at 3am, uh, up at 7 after that. I had about 4 hours sleep for about 3 days. Um, getting all those videos rendered and everything. And my sister, the deal was, my sister could have my room because I've got a big ass TV on the wall that she wanted to use. Um, so the deal was, she could use my room if she uploaded for me. And I got all the videos ready. I made all the thumbnails. I even wrote down the title, description, tags and everything on a Word document for her so all she had to do was copy and paste it and share it to Twitter Facebook and all that stuff so um my sister did a really good job uh, Beth if you're watching thank you very much um, because the channel ran so smooth last week and it's all thanks to her and her dedication and every now and then I was staying at a cottage in the middle of nowhere in the Peak District it was absolutely beautiful but every now and then we went into the main town and I had 4G so um I went onto the channel and had a look and it was so nice to see the videos were actually doing really well compared to the videos I've been putting up recently which have been very sporadic you know they haven't really been sticking to the schedule and I think having a schedule like that it, it pumps you guys up more because you know when it's going to be coming and you know it's going to be a better quality and yeah that's what I've won always wanted to strive for and recently I feel I've really let down on that part. So with the week of quality content, could you call it quality? Maybe. <laughs> and the week of uh, video up on time, I'm going to try and continue that. I've now got some holidays, I've got a lot going on, but that's not going to stop me from um, continuing YouTube to a good quality. So I'm going to continue that again. I've got a new channel trailer coming soon. That's going to be awesome. I'm editing that at the moment. And in September, in about four weeks' time, I've got a, a documentary coming out. It's for my EPQ, which is a college qualification, but I've decided to put it up on the channel because it's something very different and something I'm really pumped for, really excited for. So that's coming as well as normal gaming stuff as well. You know, I always say, there's lo new, loads of new stuff coming, but you know, then I don't really, you know, don't really come on to that offer. So um, don't worry. I'm going to try my best to um, keep the channel going to a good standard at the moment because subs are up, views are up, likes are up, I mean dislikes are up as well, but <laughs> come on, you can probably expect that. And it's great to see you guys interacting in the channel as well. Uh, I, I love interaction between me and you guys. Uh, that's the one thing I love about YouTube the most is the interaction side of things. And uh, that's been up as well recently. So, um, so far, I mean, it's a very small community we've got, but it's a really nice community and, you know, 99% of the time, uh, people are really nice in this community, and that's what I always want to strive for. I don't want to, you know, become a YouTube community that's resented by others and resents each other. That's the worst thing, when you've got a YouTube community that hates each other, and it's just constant hate towards each other and the creator in the comments. I fucking hate that. Uh, it's just fucking terrible. So, um... It's nice to see you guys, uh, when you do comment, I don't get many comments, but when you do, it's really nice to see your community, um, you know, being a community and being active, and that's really nice to see, so, um, 
massive thank you to you guys and my sister uh, for the last week because you know the channel did really well and it's it's really really nice to see. I can't, I can't tell you how much it, how much joy it brings me because recently my motivation has been down about the channel. I'm like, why do I even fucking bother? I go away, I clear my head for a week, I come back and see the channel is just. You know, everything's up, and it, it's so nice to see. So a huge thank you to you guys, and I have got a story about the holiday. I could talk about the holiday forever, because what I wanted to do was, I wanted to go on holiday, and normally I'll be vlogging it, and um, I am kind of disappointed I didn't make a vlog about it, but I got there, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to vlog it. I'm going to completely detach myself from YouTube for a week, because I haven't done that since I started YouTube. <laughs> So, um, about, well, 2014 I started, so yeah, since 2014 I haven't had a day where I haven't done something to do with YouTube. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna take this week to just detach myself and reset the clocks and just let everything play out. My sister's got it, it's fine. I'm not even going to vlog. I am going to, you know, there wasn't much internet anyway. And we were just made our own fun with board games, with movies, things like that. And I, I didn't want to be that one guy who was just vlogging all the time. Uh, I, I always am that one guy. But um, as I say, I just wanted a bit of a break. So I took that week to completely detach myself from my normal routine. Which is unlike me. Uh, I normally, well, I would say I normally do a good routine. I don't. Um, I'm very sporadic with my routines. Uh, they don't really stick very often. But my YouTube routine has been pretty much the same since 2014. Uh, with little changes. So, yeah, that last week was just a week of completely YouTube free. And I did miss it. I did miss it, um, which is a good thing. You know, if I didn't miss it, then it's probably a sign I should stop. <laughs> but I have got a story to tell about the holiday. So, we were at Alton Towers, which is a big theme park with awesome roller coasters. And it's a massive ass place, a huge place. Like, it takes a good 20 minutes to walk from one side of the park to the other. And we needed to get from one side of the park to the other. And they have a cable car. So we were like, oh, we'll get on the cable car. It's fine. And, you know, it's much faster. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. So we got on the cable car and we got about two thirds of the way. We could see the station in sight. It was not far away at all. Maybe 100 meters or so. And basically what happened, the cable car stopped. And we were like, oh, no, it's fine. You know, um, the cable car's been stopping every now and then anyway. I'm assuming they're letting people onto the cable car. It'll be fine. Then 20 minutes rolled past and we were like, okay, it's either someone like got stuck in the doors or something's happening. <laughs> And then we heard something over the intercom saying, Sorry, passengers, uh, we will get your cable car moving as soon as possible. And we were like, right, okay, that's fine, you know. They're, they're going to get us moving very soon. It's all good. Then another 20 minutes rolled by. And um, the same um, lady came over the intercom and said, We are sorry for your delay. We will get the cable cars moving as soon as possible. We were like, right, okay. You said something along those lines about 20 minutes ago, but it's fine. It's fine, you'll get us moving very quickly. Another 20 minutes rolled by, and um, the same thing was said. But this time they said, we are sorry for your delay. We are trying to get the problem fixed as soon as possible. So we were like, shit, okay, there's a problem. And uh, then they said, under your seat, there is a blue box with water and blankets in. And we were like, what? Water and blank? How long are we going to be here? <laughs> and um, at that point, we were like, okay. We're going to be here until tomorrow. Um, we're legit going to be here 12 hours. We're going to need those blankets um, and water just to stay a fucking live. Um, so at that point, we were going through survival strats. We had, um, it was me, my friends, there was five of us in total. And then there was a Scottish dude and his daughter. A really nice guy, by the way. Um, yeah, he was like, out of all the people I met on holiday, that's probably the nicest guy I met. Uh, probably because we were in a deadly survival situation. You make the best of it. But no, it really it was fine. We ended up spending in the cable car about an hour and a half-ish. Maybe a little bit less. Uh, and eventually they got us moving again. Um, we got to the station and they gave us uh, one free day back at Alton Towers, which is nice, you know. Uh, and then fast track passes, which if you don't know, basically gets you on the rides a lot faster. So... That hour and a half we wasted, we actually made up in the end because some of the queues we skipped would have taken us about two to three hours to get through. It was ridiculous. So in total, it was a pretty successful day. I mean, um, my friend Ben, if you don't know him, he's the, you know, the deep voice funny one uh, in some of my videos. Um, he's scared of heights. I, I don't think he's as scared of heights now, but we were suspended. <laughs> 
probably about 60 meters off the ground um over like it was uh, it, i think the bit we were over was a bit of a concrete like um platform path area they were constructing something underneath us and every now and then we'd hear banging we're like oh shit is that us like i mean like just fucking banging the screws back in on the cable car so we don't fall or something and then a storm started to roll in we and the cable cart started doing this and we were like fuck hold on <laughs> so yeah we were planning our funerals um but i was quite calm really i'm always quite calm in those kind of situations sometimes i'm a bit way too chill i think um but to be honest, if there was anything dangerous happening, they would have done an emergency protocol. Or they would have told us, okay, you're going to die. You know, so, um, it, it worked out very well. And to be honest, I don't regret that experience. It was, um, boring more than scary, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but hey, it's a story to bring home to the dinner table, I suppose. So yeah, that's a story from my holiday. I've got plenty more, so if you want to hear more, put them in the comments down below. And I'll start a new series. JTP's holidays away, but he didn't vlog because, you know, fuck you. Okay, maybe I won't do that, but I like these chats with you guys, so if you want me to do more chats, I can tell you more stories. Hey! That was cringy as fuck. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. I'm pretty sure I haven't got anything else to say, so beautiful holiday. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, Norfolk, where I live, is very boring compared to the Peak District. If you live around the Peak District, I am very jealous. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much again for last week. Uh, it was an absolutely astonishing week for the channel, and... Uh, I'm going to try and keep it up from here on out. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, share and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. Until next time, I shall say... <gasps> Good! Right. Come down. Coming down. Hello! Uh, Jess, did you not... Jess, did you not see that? Is Jess blind? <laughs> What the fuck? How did Jess not see a guy standing right behind me? Well, jumping down here may not be the best idea, but... <laughs>